Okay, y'all, I am here at Sakura Kun. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, Boop. Yeah, we're at Montmart. Been walking for about two hours. The stairs, y'all, when I came out the metro, the stairs to get up <laughs> to this level. Sorry, it's my hand that keeps going in front of the camera. Yeah, I got it in a different spot today. It's kind of upside down, but allows me to hold my camera better so people can't take it out my hand but um yeah the stairs to get up here they were insane but anyway i made it i'm here walked with my group uh we took a roundabout way like we went around like up and down streets so we slowly progressed up the hill and then after that um we ended up here so yeah my knees hurt that's all i can say <laughs> yeah. the stranger coming up behind me in my picture <laughs> but yeah so I wanted to talk to y'all real quick about like a historic preservation issue I'm gonna go away from people I came over here to get away from people and then it's like everybody's wandering over here so I'm gonna go somewhere where there isn't anybody at all my point is not going to be made as clearly over here because there's not as many locks. But we're going to talk for a second about these locks that people keep putting up. You can kind of see them on the wall behind me here. Uh, so I'm going to switch my camera angle and then we'll talk for a second. Okay, here we are. You can see the locks. Um, some of you may be familiar with like the lock bridge that used to be in Paris years ago. And people would take these locks and like write their names on them. And they're supposed to be symbols of love or whatever, right? I think at one time they were throwing them in the river and they started putting them on the bridge. Finally, the bridge failed due to the heaviness from the locks. Um, they removed four tons of locks. Um, somebody double checked me on that. That's something I heard recently. Um watching some videos and stuff online about locks and things and you know how reliable videos are um, but I can believe it looking at these locks it said they removed four tons of locks from the bridge um, they took down all of the railings and replaced it with like these glass panels so you can't put locks up anymore and they had to like um, shore up the bridge to um, just like keep people to keep people from doing it and and to make the bridge strong and like whatever but <laughs> so you can see it's happening here at Montmartre and as far as this fence goes I'll see if I can zoom in uh, sorry for my bad cinematography here but there are locks all the way over there as well so thick you cannot even see through um, there are locks I'll zoom out there are locks all the way down this guy and you can't see it very clearly but even where those cars are you can kind of see it there's locks down there on those gates too um, this is a practice that's starting to take over um, the Paris area I don't know if it's happening in other places but this is really bad y'all first it's bad for the environment you got all these things rusting away here <laughs> we're putting all these metals back out here look at that the rust on that guy and you've got hawkers over there that are like selling these locks to people um ugh, it smells like a urinal over here <laughs> But I don't know how much they're selling them for, but they're selling these locks to people, which is just contributing to the problem because people think it's okay to do. They think it's sweet. They think it's cute. Um, and hey, people are selling you locks. So that's what you're supposed to do in this area, right? Because this is like a tourist thing. Um, but in fact, it's really, really bad. And this is a historic site. The Pope comes here. And I don't really know the history of this place. I was just in a small tour where they were, uh, the lady was telling us some of the history of the place about um, how the church was sort of built after a time of unrest is sort of a sign of, of peace and unity. 
um, you know, lots of countries do this, especially after war or whatnot. And um, so it has a lot of historical significance. It's like 120 years old, maybe older. And we talk about the historicity of a place, um, you know, especially with preservation. That sort of includes all the things that go around the place. <laughs> All the things that, you know, go to the feel of a place. Um, these were not always here, you know. They were added much later and continue to be added. Hey, look at that. They're just sitting there. It's so hot this way. Wow. It just sort of goes on and on. <laughs> you can see it goes down there. It's on all of the fences, and I've seen it in other areas around Paris too, not just here. And people don't even realize that they put themselves in danger like this. I mean, I can't imagine how heavy this fence is. You got people sitting on it, people leaning on it, the ground underneath. If you look here, ground underneath is starting to give way a little bit. It's kind of right under that guy's foot so you can't see it. But eventually all of these things are going to give away and somebody's going to have to either fix it or remove all the locks. Probably both. But the weight from these locks is going to cause massive problems. We can already see here where the gate is coming undone. It's no longer connected. That's just the the inside like panel part um, right here. This part is no longer connected to like the larger bar part here and on the side like right there. Sorry I'm so zoomed in. <laughs> And so you get several hundred pounds, maybe a couple tons of locks on a wall or a fence like this. You get several hundred pounds of people sitting on them, leaning on them, pushing on them, pulling on them. And uh, over time, that has a detrimental impact on these fences. So yeah. And honestly, it's not that pretty. <laughs> it's really not. I mean, when you compare this building up here to what's happening on the fencing here, they're just worlds apart. Oh, look, I didn't even notice that fence down there is not even connected at all. That whole thing has already fallen down. Looks like somebody tied it with a little ribbon to sort of hold it up yeah so it's indicative of a major problem that could be happening in the near future I'm sure Parisian officials are aware of it but it's just something to think about and to consider when you visit places um, you may be contributing to damaging the place that you love and enjoy visiting rather than you know just creating some kind of memory for yourself and a lot of people don't think about that I don't think anybody thinks about the lock bridge that was damaged and had to be like repaired and pieces of it, you know, completely replaced. Um, people just think, yeah, I left my lock there or whatever. So yeah, that's my little tidbit for the day. Maybe not well spoken, maybe not well explained, but I did the best I could. Hopefully y'all get the idea of what I'm talking about.